taxes. They've been a part of society since the ancient times of pharaohs and kingdoms. In 1535, King Henry VIII started the beard tax, taxing every man with more than a two-week growth. In 1696, King William instated the window tax, collecting a specific amount of shillings per window in your house. But now, state of tax officials are taxing something that every single New Yorker holds near and dear to their heart. So, Angel, how has the bagel tax affected business here at Murray's Bagels? Really, it's, it's a new thing for a lot of the customers coming in, but it hasn't impacted at all. So, if you order, say, a, a plain bagel, unsliced, it's straight up, no tax. As soon as we slice it, automatically we, get, we have to charge you tax for it. So, roughly, what is the financial difference between a sliced bagel and a non-sliced bagel? It's uh, like nine cents. Nine cents. Nine cents. Nine cents. Doesn't sound like a lot, but say you have 200 bagels a year times nine cents. $18. Do you realize what you could buy for $18 nowadays? A plate of pink snapper, this amazing Christmas sweater, or the Barack Obama action figure. If I want a schmear, will you tax me? If it's a schmear of cream cheese, right. you say you slice it for us, and we'll, we'll charge you for the slice. What if I cut my own bagel? Uh, sure, but that's we would do that actually. No, rather us do it. I am quite fast. To have the full bagel experience, you have to pay an extra nine cents. Are you okay with that? I'm not too happy about it. It's pretty pathetic that a state like New York has to tax people on a bagel, you know, and then differentiate between whether it's to go or to stay or whether you're putting cream cheese on or not putting cream cheese on. People are so upset that they're even protesting. This isn't really working. So, as millions of New Yorkers dig deeper into their pockets to pay for one of their favorite foods, I ask you the question, how much would you spend the greatest bagel on the planet.